see him. Wasn't too bad. Hey guys, I'm Hop. Thanks for tuning in to TFB TV. Back in the summer of 2021, I went down to the Gunsight Academy in Arizona to check out a couple new guns from Mossberg. Two of those guns already came out, and I already did videos on them, including their new MC2SC, which is the best optics-ready micro 9mm that nobody makes a good holster for. The subject of today's video took a little longer to get here, and that story is pretty interesting, but we'll get there in due time. Today we're talking about the new Mossberg 940 Pro Tactical, a semi-automatic, gas-operated, optics-ready tactical shotgun. You guys know my little brother Jimmy is the tactical shotgun operator in the family. I just use my shotguns to hunt real ducks and fake pigeons. So I'll let Linda at Mossberg fill you in on the basics. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm more of a shotgun girl, and you may recall that last year we introduced the 940 JM Pro. We worked with Jerry and Lena Mitchellett to develop a competition gun and use their input. And what's beautiful about that is we carried that over into the 940 Tactical. Um, we'll start with this particular model. This will be the initial one that we offer. It comes with an 18 half inch barrel. You may notice here it flares a little bit at the end of the barrel. We've actually added our choke system to it. Most defensive guns come with just a cylinder bore choke, but the beauty here is you'll have the ability to change out chokes. We've also added a barrel clamp that has the ability to add rail as well as a stud for your sling, uh, in lock capable. Uh, one of the big design changes with the JM Pro when we did that was to slim down the forein. So you notice this is very um, friendly ergonomically. It fits well in your hand. We'll come down and what we've done is also enlarge the operating handle and bolt release. So very easy to operate. I'm going to turn the gun over here too. You'll also notice the whole loading port has been enlarged as well as beveled. Uh, it was developed to quad load, but it's perfect for uh, use in tactical situation too, maybe wearing gloves or whatever. Also features an elongated elevator so you don't get that pinch problem that sometimes happens here. Um, the stock, this is one of the other features I truly love, is adjustable for length of pull as well as cast and drop. You can go from a 13 to a 14 and a quarter inch. But what's at the heart of this gun that is really makes it unique, I think, is the, the gas system. It's a new gas operating system that will allow you to go up to 1,500 rounds without cleaning. Internal parts also have boron nickel coating on them, so that helps with the functioning of the gun and also reducing the need to clean. So the 940 Pro Tactical is a tactical variant of the 940 JM Pro. Mossberg already makes a tactical variant of the 930 semi-automatic shotgun, but the 940 is an overall improved platform versus the 930. And the 940 Pro Tactical is optics ready, which is kind of a given, right? Most shotguns are more or less optics ready. The 930s, for example, are either drilled and tapped for an optics mount or come with a Picatinny top rail already installed. But the 940 Tactical is optics ready like the MC2SC is optics ready. The receiver is cut for a micro red dot sight. Mossberg had a few prototype 940 tacticals at gunsight, one with ghost ring sights, one with a normal bead sight, and one that they had milled for a J-point pattern micro red dot just for fun. From what I understand, they did not initially plan to produce that one, it was just a fun project they'd cooked up. But everybody at the event liked it so much that Mossberg took a little more time perfecting it, and now we have an optics cut on the standard version of the 940 Pro Tactical. The prototype we played with was cut specifically for the Shield RMSC or J-Point pattern micro red dot footprint and had a Crimson Trace red dot mounted, the same one we were using on the MC2 SC. No, I will not stop bringing up the MC2 SC until somebody starts making good holsters for it. This is a threat. The final version of the gun is going to be cut for a more universal optics pattern. Mossberg shows it mounted with a Holosun K series red dot, which means it should be compatible with the new Holosun EPS red dot, if you prefer to have an enclosed emitter optic. That is a combination that makes me pretty excited, but you could still use a Shield RMSC, a J-Point, or one of the Crimson Trace Rad Micros instead. TFB TV camera guy and all-around very handsome human being Ryan was with me at Gunsight, and we both shot the 940 Pro Tactical with slugs, buckshot, and birdshot. We shot steel targets and clay pigeons, and we learned how to do a drive-by out the bed of a pickup truck. This probably isn't news to you, but semi-automatic gas-op shotguns are way smoother and more fun to shoot than pumps. The speed between follow-up shots becomes extremely noticeable when you're taking makeup shots at clay pigeons or trying to nail multiple targets out of the bed of an 11th Gen F-150. 
and full power loads from a semi-auto don't beat you up as much. The other small touches are nice too. The barrel clamp at the front adds M-lock slots and sling points on either side of the gun. The widened loading port probably makes it a lot easier to load with gloves on. It was 118 degrees in Arizona, so I wasn't wearing any, but I've had my glove eaten by a hunting shotgun in the winter before, so it makes sense. The interchangeable chokes on the 940 Tactical also gives the gun some flexibility, even if most users will probably just run open cylinder and use flight control buckshot. The AccuChoke system does have breaching chokes already available, for example, and the slight flare at the end of the barrel does make the gun look badass. James Reeves told me in confidence that he feels threatened by the Chodley barrel extension on the Mossberg 930 Thunder Ranch. I promised not to share his secret, and then I immediately wrote it down so I wouldn't forget to tell you guys. If you guys want to see James run a 940 Pro Tactical at Thunder Ranch, make sure to let him know in the comments. I bet he'll do it. Thanks for watching, guys. TFB TV is supported by our sponsors Ventura Munitions and Top Gun Supply. We are also supported by viewers like you on Subscribestar and now on Utreon. Unfortunately, Patreon found out that we're a gun channel and they forced us to stop doing all the cool giveaways that made being a patron of TFB TV worthwhile. So if you'd like to continue to support us and be in the running for all the cool giveaways that James puts together, check out Subscribestar and Utreon in the video description below. See you next time.